What's up guys, Mr. Dragon's Fury 2 here. So today I'm going to be playing a little Fallout New Vegas. I'm going to be showing you guys how to start out on a good note and playing this game. As you can see here, I've just started a new character and I'm looking around Doc Mitchell's place. He has a lot of good stuff that you should grab before you go out. He has medical supplies, a few guns, random food. You should get doctors back there. Those come in really handy. So basically in this video, I'm just going to be showing you how to get to get to Freeside in New Vegas pretty early, well, extremely early on in the game as a level one, uh, getting past the Death Claws. See, uh, you're technically not supposed to get past there because of the Death Claws, but there, there's a way to get past. And basically, this video is going to be showing you how to get past them, get to Freeside, get some good weapons, get about a thousand bottle caps. And just basically just just set yourself up for the game. I mean, it's just it's a good way it's a good way to earn earn money early and just have yourself ready to go and start starting off the game on a good note. So starting off here, we're in new we're in Good Springs. We're in Good Springs here. We just started off, and I'm speeding up a lot of parts because this video is pretty long and pretty boring just watching me walk into the wasteland but anyway so when you get out of good uh, Doc Mitchell's house you want to immediately head east towards the Yangtze Memorial you'll see it indicated by that big statue of the cross there obviously so just make your way over there be cautious there's mostly just coyotes out here but you may hit a rat roach or two those can get pretty annoying um so yeah just keep walking and using this uh, using this um, Doing this, you need to make sure that you save often because oftentimes, in this video, it happened to me. I got spotted and killed by Death Claws. This takes a lot of patience, and but if you can pull it off, it's going to work out in, in the long run for you. Trust me. So, I went east. Go east until you hit the highway, and then turn onto the highway until you come to this little town here called Sloan. And when you get to Sloan, you'll be met up by this guy. With this little hard hat. Claws. Hey, what's up? Um, he's going to be warning you about the death claws up in the area, and you want to clear them out. You can come back later on and do that, but I wouldn't suggest it now because you're level one. Uh, if you want to, there's some buildings in there you can loot. They don't have great stuff, but there's there's some stuff worth getting. Um, so yeah, you want to once you pass that, you want to go off to the right up on the little on these little ridges here. Uh, there's going to be some bark scorpions there. That's why I turned red there, but they didn't they didn't attack me, so I just kept going. And also, using this method, you want to make sure you're crouched most of the time so you can pick up if you're being detected by a death claw. Because if if uh, if you don't see them before they see you, it could be a bad thing. So um, yeah, I just saved there. Remember to always save. You got to constantly save doing this. Um, so yeah, there's gonna be death claws up here. Just wait it out. Just wait it out. Just be be patient. Be patient until until you're not in danger anymore. You see them running there. So, um, just make your way, keep going on this ridge, uh, they'll be down there, trust me, they'll be down there, but as long as you stay out of sight and just kind of stay hidden in the back and just wait for them to not be targeting, pulling aggro on you, um, you should be fine. So, just keep going along the side here, looking for death claws. At this point, there's not going to be really any more, so, uh, just got stuck there. Um, just keep going until you get to that building up there. That's going to be the Repcon headquarters. That's where you're going to be going next. Uh, that's where you're going to be getting your thousand bottle caps and a really, really nice weapon called the Q35 Matter Modulator. It's a great weapon to have at a low level. It's a pla unique plasma rifle. But make sure you come in here between the hours of 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. because that's when um, they're hopping the tours. And if you're there anywhere other than those hours, you'll get warned and after 30 seconds start shooting at you so Welcome talk to, to this Redcon. tour guide here this handy danny mr handy and Excellent. tell him you want to tour Excellent. the facility be so basically I, I skipped the i skipped to the end of this tour due to video purposes Redcon but <clears throat> he's gonna he's gonna Just give you a little tour the repcon the repcon stuff the history of it and Scientific different things involved discovery. with it but basically you want to wait till the end of the tour until he opens this uh... astronomy room here with the planets and stuff so once he opens that door, come to the back here, open this door, go up the stairs, you'll find a dead guy and a key card. That key card is going to access the door to your right when you first came in, and it's also going to allow you access to the second floor. Oh, with Repcon headquarters, um, you need identity badges. 
When you don't have your badges on, you'll get warned by a facial recognition robot, and after 30 seconds, if you don't leave, then they will start shooting at you, and sentry bots will come out, and you'll die. Well, you won't necessarily die, but at level 1, using this method, you will die. So, pick up some sunset sarsaparilla caps there, star bottle cap, and uh, go up the stairs here. Through that back bulkhead door back there is going to be where the weapon is, but you need to do a couple things first before you actually get to it. So... See, there, I got past the robot, I was recognized as a lady worker, I forget what her name is, don't really care, but anyway, second floor, I believe I get confronted by another robot here, um, you're gonna wanna make your way here to the third floor, I don't really know what I was doing, you'll see at this part, I was just kinda randomly rambling around, looking at different rooms, not really focusing, I passed the way, I eventually go through there, but I passed... I passed different doors. I'm not quite sure. I think I was looking for another Sunset Sarsaparilla Star bottle cap, but I don't know why I was like coming through here because I was just wasting a bunch of time. And this video is already cutting it close as is. See, those are the other stairs to go up top. Um, I would recommend those stairs only because it doesn't put you as close to where you need to go. The other stairs, it's lockpick uh, skill of 25 needed, but. I believe when you start out you should already have that much and if you don't make sure you spec under lockpick when you start the game. So yeah I'm gonna make my way up to the top floor very shortly I believe right now yeah once that robot gets out of the way. So yeah um, make your way up to the top floor and I believe there is a way to get uh, facial recognition for the top floor but I was just for the video purposes I was just running through there quick just to get because I wanted to get the free side quickly and just get this weapon and the money so yeah I suck at lock picking as you can clearly see so yeah um top floor access and you want to get through, through here as quickly as possible and try your best not to be spotted by a facial recognition robot there I saved there just in case something bad happens so go through this door I don't know why I turned around there I'm an idiot uh, this is the same door here. Just go through that door, hole in the wall. This is the main office here. There's a Sunset Sarsaparilla Star bottle cap there. I didn't pick it up though. And turn, come out that door. Turn left, and there's going to be a suitcase there with the security ID and 200 pre-war money, which is worth five bottle caps each at level one. So you do the math. That's a thousand bottle caps. And then you got your key card, which will open up that bulkhead door and allow you access to the Q35. So make your way back down the stairs to the second floor and eventually back down to the main floor so yeah this part's pretty boring walking 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 I don't know what I was doing here I was just looking around in random rooms um, ba -ba -da -ba -da. so yeah um I kinda I kinda figured they're they're uh, actually never mind just forget what I just said there so anyway we're here again got the key card which will access this door here turn left there is the Q35 matter modulator a great weapon and on this top there's a safe here med pack uh, uh, energy weapon skill magazine and a bunch of these microfusion cells um, I speed I speed it up here because you don't need to see me picking up microfusion cells so uh, yeah there's the facial recognition robot again but I have the key card for the first floor so he won't attack me so now we're going to leave the Repcon headquarters and we are going to go to Freeside. We're going to go to Freeside. So cross this handy dandy bridge here and make your way towards that big stratosphere hotel space station probe erect penis thing sticking out of the ground there. Just make your way towards that. You will get to this Air Force, Air Force base on my, on my left, Camp McCarran. That is the NCR main headquarters. You will eventually find yourself there one way or another, where, whether it be a main quest or a side quest. Um, that's also where you kick the monorail into New Vegas if you don't want to... If you don't have 2,000 bottle caps to get past the credit check, you can take that monorail system for free, and it will take you right into New Vegas. But anyway, still running. Um, NCR sharecropper farms on my right. And you're going to want to cut through there to the Freeside's East Gate. And we're going to be coming up on Gunrunners up here. It's the main weapons depot of New Vegas, Mojave, Wasteland. It's where you're going to be getting most of your weapons in the game. They have the widest selection, and they are always have the most mods and whatnot. Well, but this is where you're going to get rid of your more money to get your thousand bottle caps. Um, I'm just, as you can see here, I got that, and I'm just looking around. Look at this. You can see by the selection, there's a lot of different things you can choose from. 
They have all kinds of ammo, mods, guns, and as you level up, there will be more guns accessed of higher levels and power and whatnot. Um, I wouldn't suggest buying armor from these guys because it's all completely overpriced and you can find it in the wasteland with really not much trouble. But anyway, make our way to the Freeside East Gate. Uh, Mick and Ralph's I just passed on the right. It's not that great. Um, you can get a custom pit boy later on in the game, but that's later on. You don't have to worry about that right now. So make your way through here and turn left, or my right, through these doors, which will take you to these, this part of Freeside. And once you're on the main street, turn right immediately. Atomic Ring, Wrangler on my right, and right there where we want to go. Silver Rush Casino. Um, these Van Graffs, family called the Van Graffs, this is the premier uh, energy weapons dealer in the Mojave Wasteland and the key place to be at low level. As you can see there's a little, uh, there's a little uh, discrepancy going on here, I guess. This guy didn't like the quality of the weapons, but uh, she says that they don't sell bad weapons, so look that guy in the corner over there is about to get it. Uh, let's just watch what happens here. Regardless, we feel that the quality of the weapons is below expectation and hope to adjust the price accordingly. Watching. Ah. Oh, I something, I something's gonna happen here. here is... Something's gonna happen. Excuse oh. me for a moment, would you? Do it. Do it. Oh, he, he's dead. Okay, he just got vaporized, and I believe I will be Never allowed access to the their graphs, armament Sir. from now. I expect you'll have the rest of our payment ready tomorrow morning. Do, 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 do. Okay, guys, back to work. And okay, here we go. Now you'll see by the table they have a wide selection of the a few of the best guns in the game including the P94 pla pla P94 plasma caster right there now normally you would ask how am I supposed to get all these weapons and there is a way to get all these weapons I'll, uh, first of all I'll do a little demonstration I'll save obviously you can't just grab them off the table because when you try to grab them off the table this happens and the level one at level one you definitely will not survive that so don't try and grab off the table but there is there is a way to get them and I will show you that right now first step you're gonna want to do is go past and open up the back door here and open up this bathroom door now you'll know if you have if you're a veteran of New Vegas you can you know that if you tap down R3 the right stick push it down you can pick things up so whatever weapons you want I would suggest the plasma caster just hold down R R3 and just pick it up and carry it into that back room. Whatever weapons you want, you can also pick up the ammo. They have a bunch of ammo on the shelf over there. And this is one of the best ways to get the one, some of the best guns like early on in the game, like at a level 1. To have these kind of weapons is pretty incredible. Um, plasma, multi plas rifle, it's like a plasma shotgun. Uh, recharger pistol, plasma caster, laser rifle, dry beam laser rifle, flamer, plasma grenades, plasma mines, anything, any energy weapon in the game, pre DLC is, is in, they have it here. There's also, I didn't show this part, but on the wall back there, they have a bunch of laser pistols, laser rifles, recharger rifles, which are pretty sweet. But yeah, when you have everything you want, make sure, make sure you don't pick it up really fast. I don't know if it's a glitch in the game, but they eventually, if you pick it up really fast, they'll turn red and somehow realize that you're stealing from them. So wait about a second between each time you pick something up, and you should be fine. You can see here, I'm just doing it with some ammo, because, yeah. So every, every time, once you have everything you need, just, just leave, and they won't be hostile towards you. Um, so yeah, as you can see here, I'm still a level 1, and I'll show you some of the weapons I got out of this, this uh, demonstration. See, um, and look at look at all look at all those weapons. I got uh, once I once I decide I want to look at the weapons. Damn it! What am I doing? Okay, here we go. You can see I got a lot of energy weapons, really good ones, and I'm only level one. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, about getting good armor early on, I guess if you wanted to, you can try and kill all the Van Graffs. They have really good combat armor but I would not suggest it because at a level 1 or low level in general the odds of you killing them all without a follower on hardcore mode which is what I'm playing on is highly unlikely so hope you guys enjoy my video be sure to comment rate and subscribe and peace